well top of the morning to you all I stayed there last night with the sun coming up uh, yeah it's good uh, good night's sleep actually um, a lot of the hostels I'm finding are actually better than the hotels which says a lot doesn't it and they're a lot cheaper too so yeah that was like 35 euros what's that 31 pounds I think so yeah you can get some good uh, good deals if you find them anyway day 11 day 11 um, just heading towards Seville for the first I think I've got about 15 15 20 miles to Seville oh, that's quite nice little depictions of things I forget what this is yeah El Ronquillo, El Ronquillo is the little town. Yeah, these lovely little towns are brilliant. Right, so now I'm on my kind of last few days now, aren't I? Actually, I'm gonna cross over. So I'll just catch that lovely sun sunrise. Look at that, beautiful. So yeah, I've just got a few days left now, I think. Um, well, depending on what these hills, what these hills are gonna be like. So I'm getting to Malaga and it should be quite, plain sailing after I've got a massive hill this morning I've got a big hill this morning looks like and then um, then I'm off quite flattish for however many miles and then I've got hills of pain so yeah <laughs> we'll see we'll see um, so it's uh, that'll be in the next couple of days three or four days it's uh, gonna be anyway I'm, I'm gonna get cracking I've got a little <laughs> I, I actually had one of these last night. These, those, they're like um, cupcakes, but massive, lovely. Nice way to start the day, nice descent. That's the way to start the day. Yeah, so I, I forgot to say, it's just gone 9 a.m. Um, and uh, it's, um, it's, it's, still, it's still cool, but that's, that sun's coming through, that's gonna heat up in about an hour. So I'm hopefully gonna get most of this hill done before it gets too hot. Bandas sonoras, but sonoras. It's gotta be something about the sun blinding or something. Look at this, beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna turn my lights on purely for that reason. So there's the Alta Pista. I've just come down that cracking descent. That was lovely. Um, and now the ascending beginneth. And uh, 772 kilometers. About two kilometers in, yay. Strange to think I started this. I actually left my wife at Portsmouth uh, Dockyard last Friday. Friday the 30th or 31st? 30th, wasn't it, yeah. Sunday the 1st of September is when I started. God feels strange yeah uh, from a personal point of view I'm you know I'm, I'm, I'm still obviously in contact with my wife and everything speaking to her most days um, just to you know make sure everything's okay back home and yeah I am looking forward to going home now you know but I've, one thing I'm not gonna miss is my ass every morning getting on that getting on that saddle but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss things like this just you know it's like foreign land different things every day I don't know it's just nice it's just a lovely way to spend a, a holiday I suppose because this is really a holiday you know I've taken time off and everything to do it and all that lot and, uh, and it's a great way to raise raise money for charity you know um, yeah yeah it's all good a bit philosophical I suppose anyway Anyway, doing good and all that malarkey makes you feel all warm inside. Anyway, look at that beautiful view. That's what we do it for. That's what we do it for. And these lovely descents. We're still descending. Yeah, I did say about a kilometre back or two that we're going to start ascending, but we're still descending. 
which is great but I know that the, what we're descending, you can see on the map, is the same as what I'm ascending. So I've got all this to come back up in a bit. But look at that. The sun glistening off the, what do you call that, a mountain or a hill? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. More descending. Just see a, you can just see a glimpse of the road on the other side. I think I'm going to be going back up. Doesn't look too bad from here, does it? <laughs> Looks all right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Did you see that? Another one of those embolsa embolsas. I've, I've been seeing a few of them on this trip. They're way up high. And it's, um, yeah, reservoir. Huh. Yeah. Spectacular morning. Oh, ask me that again in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. So, the ascending's definitely started now. So yeah, I was, uh, it was about three miles down and it looks on the map to be about the same. Back up again, basically, the other side. So yeah, so I've got about three miles of this. <sighs> Great. You got these, uh, this must have been a section on the uh, Vuelta de España because you've got all the different, uh, 1P was it? Well yeah, you got loads, there's some, yeah, there you go. Marquez, uh, Suelo, Padilla, yeah. Got all these names, so this must have been one of the thing, one of the famous climbs. Oh, I'll look it up, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, this is lovely. I think it's ca category two, I think. Like, what the hell is category one? <sighs> oh. Views all around. Can't hold this for long. <laughs> I can't hold this forever. That's a view, isn't it? That's lovely. Still got loads to go as well, so there's probably going to be more. Oh, so, I'm taking a break. These are great. These, um, I started seeing these these sort of um recreation areas on the side of the N630 yesterday when I reached Andalusia. Um, and they're actually quite a welcome break. Um, welcome break, yeah. uh, the only thing is they don't have water, you know, where and I was in I think Castile y Leon and uh Cantabria, there always seem to be lots of water points all over the place, um, but they aren't as frequent in Andalusia, it doesn't seem. I haven't been in it, I've only started the Andalusia region yesterday, so I don't actually know. Um, but as far as what I've got to go on so far, is uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be as many water points, save, you know, which is fine. But then like yesterday, when that guy said about going out the back and splashing water on that, you can't do that. You can go into a shop and ask for water, you know, when, when you order a coffee or something, but you can't be liberal with that water, you know? You can't say, oh, can I just have a have a bucket of water, please, to chuck over my head? <laughs> um, I suppose it might come to that in the next few days. If this hill is anything to go by, this is a Category 2, it says on my the Garmin thing, you know. Um, this is Category 2. Um, I've got, oh, what was it, four, five more of these? And then some Category 3 hills as well. Um, yeah, coming up in the next few days. Oh, trying not to think about them trying not to when i'm going up this one i've still got some to go up this one uh it just keeps going around um yeah oh, i'm just gonna take half an hour to re recharge my batteries i've got a coffee <laughs> i've got a coffee on the go right good hopefully that um fairy cake thing i had that cupcake thing i think you call them cupcakes these days Hopefully that's going to give me enough energy. Oh, hopefully there's a towel at the top. I can get some food. Look, there's a few wispy clouds. I haven't seen clouds in days. Yeah. Can't put it off any longer. I've got to, got to get up the top of this before the sun gets too baking hot. Oh, there's somebody coming down. 
Ah, oh, that guy's just reached there. Fair play to him, he hasn't stopped or anything at this point, so yeah, I've got to go. Oh yeah, oh wow, I've reached the top, that's it. And there's a, there's a mile marker for the 780 mile. Ah, oh, and also it looks like there's food up here. Um, yeah, I just had to take the obligatory picture. Probably gonna put that on the screen now. Oh, and look, hopefully they're serving food here. I could do with a nice big something, anything. So that's the Embalse de la Manila, de la Mania. De la Mania. Um, that's the one that we saw. We saw, I saw. Um, once you get to the top of a nice big hill, it's good to get uh, some sustenance. Venta del Alto. I'm venting from the top, something like that. That's a nice way of putting it, isn't it? Venting from the top, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Venta del that's all right, that's uh, reducing down nicely. Top of that hill, coffee, tostada with fresa, with strawberries. Uh, we don't um, strawberry jam. Um, and there's a petrol station here, just gonna pick up some chocolate for the day. And I think it's descending for a bit, which is lovely, even more uh, descending. Um, yeah, what a day. I feel, I feel quite refreshed actually after last night in that hotel. I had a, just a crappy old chicken burger for dinner and stuff and all that lot, but uh, yeah, and the uh, obligatory chips. Um, and now I'm just gonna get some chocolate. It's Pahanath, Pahonothath, Pahonothath? Lost Pahonothath. What else? Lots and lots of roadies on this uh, on this road. Yeah, this is a very popular cycling route around here. What else? Very, very popular. I've seen probably 20 at least just while I was sat there having me uh, tostada. Yeah, this is lovely, isn't it? So I'm at the top now, it's flattened out, which is obviously a good thing. For <laughs> but then you get these beautiful views. Ah, oh, day, day 11, day 11. Yeah, I've just been overtaken by, by proper cyclists, you see? There you go. <whistles> Couldn't whistle them. <laughs> I tried. There you go, that, that was just one of those um, rest, rest to stop stops again. Just uh, finishing off a mento and back on course. Back on the N630 again, I think I forgot to mention that. That's, um, that's what I've been on this morning. It's very quiet. Obviously there's the Alta Pista, which is what most people are on, which is like running next door to it a bit. Um, yeah, cool. Look at these views, man, this is lovely. Oh, yeah, last few days spent going up and down hills actually probably is what, probably is what the doctor ordered. Oh. Oh yeah, go on. Oh yeah. Please take me on the SE3411 now. Uh, so I've just come off the N630, I think it's called. Blinking now, brain just went. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be going back on that later, but it's but it takes me onto these like windy roads, which is quite nice. It's a nice little break from the uh, 
from the National Road. Uh, yeah, and on this you've only got a car every few minutes rather than every minute kind of thing, you know? Yeah, but it's a bit more bumpy, <laughs> but it's all right. That's interesting. So this is the Ruta del Agua, which is uh, that 3-1, whatever it is, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, it runs down there. Uh, I'm not going to go over. <laughs> Oh, that's quite a pretty sight. Second time. That's quite a pretty sight. Just coming out of town, I was looking a bit lost because I got stuck on a one-way system. Um, this is the route that uh, Garmin Connect's done, and I was pointing this way, you know, to, to the guy. I'm going to Seville this way, and he was kind of saying, "No, Seville is the other way." But uh, I think he might have meant the 620, uh, 630, maybe. But I mean, this is the way the route's going. This looks quite nice. We'll see. Uh, I might have to turn back. <laughs> I hope not. Obviously. But then I just spoke to that other guy who um, actually had a bike um, and he said, yeah, this is the way, but it's a bit bumpy, he said, and he was right. Yeah, he was right. It's a bit way bumpy. you got to push your right over this lot. <sighs> oh my God. What are we doing? Oh. That's not too bad. Oh. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I had to get this bit on camera, didn't I? <laughs> I think I'll get a wet foot now, I reckon. Oh, it's a bit slippery. Oh, here we go. Wet foot time. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. survived that that was all right well this is nice i'm glad that i didn't listen to that first bloke um i mean he had good intentions obviously i think he was he was probably trying to say you know it's not passable or something but i couldn't quite understand this is the frustrating thing i've, I've learned a bit of spanish but i'm definitely not good enough to understand them fully and they've all got their own little little ways haven't they uh anyway anyway Look at this. Yeah. Bit more interesting than uh, cycling down the 630, isn't it? Oh, I've got a left turn coming up. Uh, is it this one? Or is it coming up? Where the hell is this route taking me? Oh, uh, um, I just planned that route in the hotel the other night. Uh, well, this route, you know. I'm um, thinking of different routes to get to Seville and all that. Like. And it just came out of this. I didn't check it fully. And, uh, well, I'm very, very, very glad I did. Just behind my right shoulder there, you might be able to see the entrance. That's where I just came out of, from that quarry. And then you end up on this, I assume it's the same road. I'm going to see a sign now. Uh. See, A8080. I 
don't know, I'm just following my rat, following my route. Hopefully it's gonna get me to Seville in one piece. <laughs> then on to Torre de la Reina. <laughs> another little, another pretty little, uh, pretty little village. A8006. Well, uh, it's got a shoulder, that's good. It's not a motorway, that's good. Um, I haven't seen a speed limit yet. But let's see. It looks quite slow enough. Eight miles, eight, sorry, eight kilometers to Seville. Well, a Garda Seville um, car just went past and they didn't. And they didn't pull me over or anything, so it must be legal. <laughs> so this is alright. But yeah, it's just a little bit busy, that's all. The Algaba. Well, that's good. Speed limit signs now 50 and 40 kilometers an hour. That's like uh, 40 and 30 mark miles an hour. That's good. Yeah. I was starting to think I've made a mistake. But no, it's just one of those. It's like a, I suppose, a B road in the UK. Maybe an A, like a quieter A road. But anyway, quite nice. There's like a little pathway just running into the side on this little bit uh, pathway, little road down there. <laughs> Eeyore. They like their donkeys around here. Uh, I'm hoping this road comes back out onto that road. <laughs> it's, it's running adjacent to it. That's good. Yeah. That's one brown river. Jeez Louise. That's good. The shoulder's turned into an actual, you know, like bike lane now. That's good. On the side of the road, I feel a bit more comfortable now. Cordoba. Cordoba. Uh, I'm not going there. The only other cyclists I've seen on this uh, on this road. <laughs> Welcome to Seville. Bienvenidos a Sevilla. Well, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's just like taking me down to that main river. And uh, well, this is spectacular. I'll do the welcome to Seville again. Welcome to Seville. <laughs> this is better, isn't it? Very peaceful and relaxing. I'm sure there'll be a coffee shop along here at some point. I wonder if anyone upsails up there. And then you got a proper bridge over there, you see? Keep them on the payroll, you know? That's how a bridge is supposed to be built. That's only like half a bridge. <laughs> whatever yeah. oh, it's got there now. Oh, that's pretty cool the bike slash scooter lane Oh, this is way cool. So Seville is uh, quite hip and happening. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I don't know where this route takes me. I don't know if I'm going through the centre or not. Obviously, there's the, the river still over that way somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I'm not going to deviate from the, from the route. I don't want to mess around trying to get, you know, 
trying to find my way back to stuff. Hello. <laughs> Segways were a thing anymore. Obviously, they are. Map. This place is a Chinese, but it's actually a, uh, like a burger and um, pizza place. So I've just ordered a burger. <laughs> pizza in now? It's newer. Huh? Just like that, Seville ended. <laughs> it's a nice way to actually exit the city. <clears throat> Listen to him. It suddenly will just stop. onto a bloody motorway but no no it's it's all right <laughs> i'm on I, I actually don't know what this road's called but it's um i think it's taking me to an industrial area as you can see it's 40 mile an hour limit that guy's obviously going faster than 40. ah militaire de compro Amazon, oh, getting bigger. That's a good sign. Oh man, the wind! Headwind of pain. Oh, come on, I want to get back to these country roads again with some trees to cover the bloody wind. Come on. So, I'm off that road now. I'm on the Camino Real. Pretty cool. And I'll do it here. It says I want to go through there, but it's, look, it's all fenced off. Hopefully, a very kind gentleman <laughs> has uh, just sent me in the right direction up this hill. But apparently, this takes me back onto that. Uh, Carrera, the uh, SE road, um, but yeah, so looks like whoever owned that land that this route goes through uh, has closed it off. <sighs> yeah, that's the land that's all fenced off, and I should have, my route said that there's a way through there somewhere. I wonder if there's a little gate or something that somebody's, you know, put in and locked up now. That's a shame. But hey, um, it's like a Camino route, I think. Anyway, can you hear that? Bloody hell. They're properly going for it. Is that a mating call? Must be, mustn't it? Well, I don't know what this uh, what this route's playing at, but um, yeah, we're back onto the nice gravel, which is next door to that road. Um, yeah, it's kind of 
a good route so far. Yeah, good, 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 good. Pushing into it, it's like um, you know, really flat over just here. So it's just a, it's like heady, crosswindy thing. Yeah, coming with my right. Luckily, I will be turning left in a minute, so it will become a tailwind. Let's hope. So spiny things. <laughs> crosswind and cars whizzing past where you know this is like a service road I mean there's plenty you know they're, they're giving me space but oh, they're obviously home from work or something bloody hell this wind man oh am I gonna I'm turning a corner now it might just give me a bit of oh that's a little bit better that's a bit better straight away I can feel that right oh. It feels a bit flat too. All right, come on. Whenever I see a cactus, I, I don't know, I feel compelled to, to film it. <laughs> what a difference just turning the corner makes. I was just uh, going to carry on down that road. That was the A road. I've gone back onto an S something road. Um, I was going to carry on down there to the town something Francia. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. Um, to, there's like hotels and hostels and stuff there but with that headwind that's quite a way back down that way I think it's probably over there actually I think that's probably it so I'm kind of skipping past it um, then the, this road ends up at another little town which I don't know if that's gonna have somewhere there but I'm quite happy if to camp in somewhere tonight you know just cuz it's costing quite a lot of money doing all these uh, hostels and things. <laughs> so, yeah, off we go. Huh. Not quite as impressive as the uh, canal that I was riding down on whenever that was, day two. But still, that's like drainage, isn't it? Or runoff or something. Looks a bit manky. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to take a dip in there, would you? There you go. something quite eerie about this place actually I think because that river's so bloody brown and crap and there's a strange smell coming off of it and it's just I don't know nah no, quite happy to get into town I think <laughs> this uh, gravel has become pretty much a road it's just been compressed down it's basically tarmac next to the river oh wow the smell has gone now, which is nice. Um, I think it was, uh, oh, someone was just trying to bite my neck. Um, I think it was just as everything was pouring into it, the smell from whatever that was has, you know, started to dissipate now, which is quite nice. But whatever's in there, hmm, sod that. Yeah, it's definitely turned back into gravel for the last bit. <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. Look at that. Yeah. And then there's a the right turn here and this should take me i think hopefully onto the a road then into that town back into the wind again <laughs> a362 is what i'm on now just come off that thing from over there on the left from that uh, river sewage <laughs> and anyway i should be at uh a town pretty soon. A 
362. Starting to get worried there because that this uh, 3 A3, whatever it's called, didn't have a shoulder or didn't have much of a shoulder, but now it's got a massive shoulder. That's good, I feel a lot safer now. That's a lot better. Right, so my next town is El Corinil. I'm not staying at that hotel or whatever it is. It's like half six. I think if I can keep on going, I'll either get to this place or I'm going to camp out somewhere. So there's flags across Wind of Doom. Seventeen kilometres. Or if there's a place in Los Molares, I might even stay there. Five kilometres. Well, Malijas is all the way off my route over there, so I'm not going there. <laughs> you stop around here and there's just flies all over the place. Look, they're just all over me. Oh, manky. So I'm going down and then it looks like I'm going back up again. Great. Lovely views though. It's a bit sketchy at best. <laughs> and the crosswind is just insane. So I carried on into the wind and the sketchy roads until I reached the lovely little town called El Coronil, where I stayed at the hostel Don Juan. Um, a lovely ho hostel and the host Juan greeted me with a cold beer upon entry, um, free of charge, absolute gentleman. So 69 miles completed today, that's 643 miles so far, just over 100 miles to go. Join me in day 12 for some gravel madness and lots of tunnels. On the screen now you'll see my roadie packing trail angels these guys all helped out support this tour if you'd like to help support future tours there's a link in the description below to my buy me a coffee page here you can choose from buying me one-off coffees or two or three or four coffees or even monthly d donations are really appreciated um, check it out below if not that's absolutely fine watch these videos for free but don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and family thanks very much for watching i'll see you in part 12